Okay, so boom. Hey, G body. <laughs> you told him he could sell the 60? So it's late night, out of the blue. All of a sudden, I heard, they done shut the water off. They done shut the water off. So you already know what's happening. Penitentiary rules is in effect. So all night, all you gonna hear, People gonna be throwing stuff from under their door. Because why would I get caught with them when I know soon as the search is over, I could just come out and pay and get it back. But see, this is the thing though. The guys, when they pay for knives and get knives made and get knives sharp, they pay for that out of the box. But then they assign certain brothers to hold these knives. These brothers ain't trying to get caught with these knives because they gonna get in trouble with the guys and the administration. So they getting people, to, they getting little flunkies to hold the knives from them. Come to find out, then some of the knives got hemmed up. Me being the COS at the time, we come out, we have OD, figure out how many knives got caught, how many knives we got left, and the people who said they had somebody holding the knife for them. I'm not, listen to me, I'm not trying to do all this right now, do all this, serve all these violations, and give, give all of these sanctions out. We're not gonna do all that. I'm gonna tell y'all what y'all gonna do. Y'all just pay for the knife and, and, and get another one. Let us know y'all got it. And then, then we, gonna, we just gonna keep this ball rolling. So they agree to that. Everything, everything. A day or two go by. I'm sitting on the rock. I'm cooling. I'm chilling. Out of the blue. Dramatic effect me, please. <laughs> All you hear, boom. Man, you better pay me my money, man. I told you about that. So it's whoever this is, they coming from up under. I'm on the top wall. On the bottom wall, I ain't gonna be able to see them until they come out so I can see who this was who done went off like that. And when something like that happened in the penitentiary, all eyes is gonna turn in the, in the direction of where this is coming from. So when he walk off monitor, it's one of the guys. So I'm looking down at him then, bro, saying, man, I'm telling you, man, bro, bro, man, bro, I always into something, man, and, and bro getting high. So when he say that, I don't even respond to that. I'm not even finna have no conversation with you, my guy. You're not finna set me up for this for me. Oh, yeah, me and Joe T, we was over there talking about it, man. And bro was saying the same thing. I was just like, oh, that's crazy. Man, that, I'm mad at my business in the penitentiary. At all, listen to me. I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not moving like that. So when he go over to the, as he walk into the cell, one of the brothers, I guess he's looking at it like this is one of the guys, even though this is personal business because it's not GD business because he ain't had nobody with him. Now, I don't know what he had going on down there, but when he came out of the cell, he was solo dolo, which means it was some personal business. And evidently, he handled it. But when he came out, he was a little loud. So one of the guys came to what they call AA. They came to aid in the system. So they walk in the cell or whatever. After they walk in the cell, get what I tell, get what I told, bro. Oh, bro, I'm finna go on fade in the cell real quick. I don't, I don't even want to be out here to, for the for the guy to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. When that happened, yeah, Joe T and them, they was, a, I ain't seen nothing. I'm finna go on in the cell. I said, I'm gonna get back with you, G. He said, all right, GD on there. I, yeah, GD on. I go in the cell, close the door. Boom. Fifteen minutes rolled by. I heard. Ta, 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 ta. I said, all right, what's up? What's up? Hey, I need to holler at you real quick, folks. It's the PC. I know it's what. I said, oh yeah, give me, uh, give me just a minute. All right, all right, bro. I need to holler at you though. It's, it's on a GD, G, G be the reason. G be the reason. Man, that's crazy. I said, oh, what's up? I said, man, come on in, brother. Don't read. He, fire, he come in. Man, bless it. He said, he closed the door, right? I'm looking at him. He looking at me. We looking at each other. He said, man, uh, man, bro came hollering at me. You know what I'm saying? He went down there and hollered at bro. You know what I'm saying? When a little situation happened out here, brother went down there and put hands on dude down there in 28 sale. I said, yeah, uh, for real? He said, yeah, he done went down there. He said, man, bro, when they hollered at me, he said, oh, the dude owed bro some money and this, this, and that, and this, this, and that. And he was like, man, but brother didn't want, want to go down there and ask the dude in 28 cell, you know what I'm saying, what's going on between him and bro. Soon as he said that, I raised up off the board. I said, who, who, who trying to cross bro out? Because I was just on the rock earlier with a different brother who done already said, man, bro, getting high. Now, you done brought this information to me, and you saying y'all want to go down here and question somebody and getting this man, y'all making this man personal business, GD business, because y'all done got sick of this man. Now, see, now, now, every now and then, see, you only slide back for so long because you got different people, you got different calibers of people that, that serve different purposes in the penitentiary. You got your, you got your leaders, you know what I'm saying? You got your followers, you got your flunkies. And see, when you got your flunkies, your flunkies are the people who, you know what I'm saying, they getting by and, and they doing a whole lot of other stuff up under the sun, but everybody going to let them slide because they flunkies. They going to hold stuff for you. If, if it's go time, they not even going to question why they had to go. Hey, bro, take care of that right there. Oh, I got you on that, GD on that. They going to take care of the business. They going to do whatever they got to do to survive and then at the same 
same time, they knowing they going to keep sliding under the cracks because it's always going to be somebody who's going to defend them because they need the flunking around. And see, at this point, everybody tired of the flunking because it's always something going on. So as I'm listening to the brother, he start, he say something like this. Yeah, man, the guy said, man, you know what I'm saying? That's undue heat. I said, how, how that was undue heat? I said, he took care of business. He came out, you know what I'm saying? The police ain't came in here and searched nobody. Ain't nobody went to the hole. Ain't none of the brothers got, got hemmed up. None of this. I said, then nothing happened. He came out of the cell, whatever happened. He was like, man, you know, but bro, I always such and such and such and such and such. I said, man, bro, who, who, who trying to get bro crossed out? He was like, man, I ain't even gonna lie to you, man. Bro, just, bro, them just tired of him, you know what I'm saying? The whole unit, we tired of him, you know what I'm saying? Or just get him moved out of the party, this, is and that. I was like, man, that's crazy. He was, I said, man, y'all can't send no brother down there to ask dude, you know what I'm saying, what was going on. What make y'all think the dude gonna tell one of the guys on another guy? He gonna feel like he in the middle of something. He was like, well, man, shh. I said, I'll tell you what, bro. I'll tell you what. Don't even worry about it. I said, I'll tell you what. I said, I'm going to give my guy to go down there and I'll let him real quick. So he was like, yeah, what's up? Just let me know what's going on. He faded out of the cell right. I come out right behind him. Close the door. Doom. You already know what time. Hey, 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 white boy, Rick. Hey, let me, hey, let me holler at you real quick. My boy come up the steps real quick. I said, step in the cell real quick. We're going. He closed the door. Boom. He blessed his cell. I said, man, oh, man, bro, I, I need a favor real quick. He was like, man, what's up? I said, man, oh, dude down there in 28 cell. He raised up off the toilet. Who you talking about? You talking about BJ? What's up? What BJ do? I said, oh, nah, nah, nah. I ain't nothing like it. Ain't nothing like it, white boy. I said, oh, no, he got into it. He got into it with one of the brothers down there. Look, I don't even really supposed to be telling you this, you know what I'm saying? Because it's GD business. I said, but I know you straight, you know what I'm saying? You ain't finna be running your mouth or nothing. I said, but look, he got into it. What's his name? Oh, uh, Bobby Johnson. Yeah, yeah, BJ. They done got to fight now now for whatever reason. Brother said he beat him up. They jumped on him because he owned some money or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Brother, them think bro be getting high with dude. You know what I'm saying? But check this out. I'm going to give you a couple cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? Go down there, smoke, and see if you can get in the business and see what what why they got into it. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever, whatever, whatever happened. I said, but when, when I get to you, though, when you go out here, don't don't go straight down there. Wait till after child. Wait till after child and then fade in there. You know what I'm saying? Smoke with them. See what them. He's like, oh, I got you, though. I said, hey, what's up? I said, well, look. Hey, hey, hey. He said, oh, I got you. So he fade out of the cell, right? <laughs> When he faded out of the cell, they child time. All them folks ran up out of there like it was burger. They don't know what was feeding them. What them folks were feeding them down there? But the PC, you know what I'm saying? He he sitting down there in the cell. He he ain't go down there to the child hall. So I bust a I bust a couple of walks around the top walk. You know what I'm saying? I do a little exercise. And then I'm thinking, I'm thinking about this situation, what's going on, how this situation gonna play out. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what this dude BJ, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what he's gonna say. So by the time I'm looking at the back window and I see them coming back up from chat, I go in and I let the PC. I pop, pop, pop. Hey, man, who is that? I said, man, Joe T. He said, oh, come on in, bro. I pop the door. Pop, walk in. Bless his head. Doom. I said, oh, oh, my guy finna go in. He finna go in and holler. I said, I said man, what's that scent? I said, what's that smell in here, bro? What you, what you got? Some bleach in here? He said, oh, yeah, 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 I'll be paying the laundry, man. Give him $25, I give him $25 a month. Oh, he keep me stocked up on the bleach. I said, what, what kind of, what, how are you getting bleach? He was like, oh, here you go, right here. He, watch out real quick, shoot. He reached up on the shelf, popped this bottle open. The, the, how they used to, how they sell the bleach in the penitentiary, it's like a bricker. It's like a brick of that coke. It's, it's real thick, you know what I'm saying? I said, I said, oh, I need some of that. He said, oh, I got you. Got hold on real quick. He grabbed something in it. Broke it, grabbed a little piece of bag. I said, bro, you act like you're serving me or something. I said, he said, oh, nah, nah, nah. He was like, man, you, just, you don't want that on your fingers and stuff. He was like, man, stuff. He was like, this, he was like, this pure bleach. You don't think you got to do it. He said, you're going to have to crunch it down a little bit. Just add a little water in it. He said, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, he said, it's going to, but you're going to have to put a lot of water. He was like, because it's pure. It's pure, pure. I said, oh, that was up. And so he give me, he, he give me the bleach. I said, that was up. I said, well, look, fade out real, real quick. They finna come back in real quick. So we fade out of the cell. When we fade out of the cell, we see white boy Rick going in the cell. So we sitting on the we sitting on the rock. You know what I'm saying? We just politicking. You know what I'm saying? We just talking about certain things. I'm talking to him. He talking about it. We converse. We having a whole little conversation. Eventually, white boy Rick fade out of the cell. I, he come on up. Bro, I ain't in the pod nowhere. So he come on up. When he come on, I'm like, man, come on in the cell real quick. The PC, I tell bro, I come in real too. I'm finna go on let him witness whatever, whatever he finna say. So when we come in, I'm like, oh. So what did he say? He said, man, I ain't trying to be in the middle of 
I said, man, you good, man. You ain't got to worry about nothing. The PC hollered out, oh, you, 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 you good, white boy. Reed. You a friend of the folks. I said, well, that's a term they use. In the he said, oh, you a friend of the folks. He said, well, man, he said, man, he said, they got to fight. He said, he got to fight with your brother, man, because uh, he said, your brother been deboing him. I said, deboing him for what? He said, man, they've been down there getting high together. And he said, man, he's been taking the bigger half of the dope every time they getting high. He said, they've been down there shooting up. When he say that, I look at bro, bro, look at me, me and bro looking at each other. I'm thinking, now, boy, I know they can't wait to hear this. He said, yeah, they been down there shooting up. And he was saying, I said, shooting up? He said, yeah, he said, he probably ain't never, you probably ain't going to see no tracks on his arm. He said, because they shooting the dope in between they toes. I said, oh, that's no, I never heard that one. He said, yeah, he said, they been down there getting high. Your brother been deep on them or whatever, whatever, whatever. And then he said, uh, he said, man, he just got tired of them, man. They got the argument. He said, your brother, your brother hit him. And next thing you know, he, he walking out of the door talking about, you know, he better pay him some money. When really it was about, he was down there taking a the bigger half of the dough. And then he said, he said, your brother lied. And, uh, I said, what do you lie about? He said, uh, he said something about a knife. He said it was a knife that he was holding for your brother, and he sold it to a vice lord. When he said that, I, look, I said, uh, I looked at bro. Bro looked at me. Me and bro looking at each other. Bro said, oh, you know what time it is, Jolte. You know what time it is. I said, I said, I don't put myself in the middle of something. This, this didn't have nothing to do with me. This didn't have nothing to do with me. I was just trying to figure out if he was getting high. They ain't talking about this man done sold a knife. Listen to me. He through. He's, he's done. And if you want to hear the rest of this story, you're going to have to go get your membership. My membership is only $5. Y'all go on and mess with the kid. Or you can go get you, go get the book. Cash out me a dollar. Okay, so boom, one. Whatever it is. Go get your membership. The link is going to be in the description or in the comment section. I'm going to put it in the comment section. Y'all go mess with the kid. <laughs>